Did you know Barbados has a tropical marine climate? This is because we're so close to the equator and because we're so close to the ocean. What does that mean in terms of our weather? Here in Barbados, we only have two seasons. And unlike Europe and America, it's not determined by how hot or cold things are, but rather by how much rainfall we get. Hence why our seasons are called the wet and the dry season. Let's go talk to meteorologist Reese Brathwaite a little bit more about this. What even is a dry season and when is it? So a dry season is basically a grouping of months where you have little to no rainfall. Here in Barbados, we have a six month dry season, which runs from December to May. So our 2025 dry season actually began in December 2024. Although the tropical marine climate doesn't vary much in terms of temperature, are there still any changes? There is some variation in temperature during the half a part of the year and the cooler part of the year. Incidentally, the coolest part of the year is actually during the dry season. But to really put that into perspective for you, places like the US and Canada, Europe even, their summertime temperatures are maybe 34 degrees Celsius, and their wintertime temperatures are below zero degrees. So already that is a 30 to 40 degree difference between the hottest part of the year and the coolest part of the year. Now here in Barbados, the difference is not as big. The hottest part of the year is maybe one to two degrees warmer than the coolest part of the year. Why it feels so cool is because you also tend to have these periods where the wind speeds are strong. Additionally, you get features like shear lines that bring cooler temperatures into the region. So what does a typical dry season look like? So typically during dry season, you might realize because we have a lot of fair weather days, maybe your lawn is going to dry up. And then we also get these periods with these really strong wind speeds. So if you like kites, the dry season is the best time for you. Another thing that makes conditions so dry during the dry season, especially in this latter half, are these outbreaks of Saharan dust. And what tends to happen is the Atlantic high pressure system picks up the dust off the coast of Africa and tracks it all the way into Barbados and the Eastern Caribbean. How does the dry season evolve? So people often assume that because we're in the dry season, the atmosphere is going to act like a tap and turn off the rainfall. Boom, no more rainfall. And that is seldom ever the case. The atmosphere hardly acts like a tap to turn on and off. You have this nice gradual decreasing rainfall from December into March. So March is our driest month. And then you have this gradual increasing rainfall in April and May. Now we tend to get a lot of early morning showers. But then additionally, you can still get some weather features like troughs or shear lines that do generate rainfall during the dry season. So, because of these strong winds, we typically fly our kites during the season. But are there any hazards associated with the dry season? Find out in episode two.